I was talking with some friends last night about acting, about whether it's more difficult to play an imagined role or a real role. I've got no answers, folks. These are just the questions that I'm dealing with, you know, trying to understand what is it that makes a great film a great film? And what is it that, uh, what do we love about it so much, man? Because I love it, I love it. Hey, you wanna go on a really cool wet ride? Let's do it. Wet Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast, vlog, whatever it is. And every once in a while, what happens is the GoPro won't turn on. And so I just got to switch out the batteries. So that's what we just did. Switched out the batteries in the rain. We're hanging out here, trying to cross 36. Uh-oh, trash truck. Uh-oh. So we're trying to, not 36, we're trying to cross State Street. Anyway, this doesn't matter. This does happen from time to time. This is part of the ride. <laughs> How's your ride going this morning? This is a fine ride. You know, I was talking with a friend last night. <clears throat> I had a great time with uh, B and uh, his, his friend uh, M. There's a lot of M's in my life. I like that. Um, but basically, we were talking about something that brings you joy, like unambitable joy, like just straight up, has no negative attachments. And uh, for me, one of those things is bicycling. So, you know, like even in the rainy 37 degrees, as unpleasant <laughs> as it is to get out on a bicycle at 37 degrees in the rain, I love it. <laughs> I still love it. Thanks so much for being with me on the ride this morning. This is kind of part two from last Thursday when we were talking about acting and I kind of went on too long about the history of acting, which for me, I kind of have to do these things when uh, I haven't experienced it in a while. Like I haven't had to act in a long time. I think I was telling you, I am not a particularly good actor. In other words, I'm bad. Bad acting. So my next question about acting though, that I've been really looking at is, you think it's easier to play an imagined character, like a person that doesn't exist, or is it easier to play uh, popular character, someone in popular culture or history, you know, like someone that's still alive. Is it more difficult? We uh, watched Ford versus Ferrari over the weekend, Jennifer and I. It's so good. Now, if you're not into the history of how, basically how America got into, that's a big A, that's weird how the history of how America got into racing, automobile racing, and uh, kind of a David and Goliath story, thank you for that, Brandon, of how Ford Motor Company, kind of at the last minute, took them about, what, three months to have no racing program to beating Ferrari at Le Mans. <laughs> it's a 24 hour race. So, uh, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have drivers that can handle it. And they, uh, I think they switch out over four hours, the drivers. But you've also gotta have a car that can like race for 24 hours straight. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of technology that goes into that. Anyway. If you're into that kind of thing, it's a really, really well done movie. The acting in it is freaking fantastic. But as I was watching Christian Bale, because I felt like, uh, I felt like his role, he was playing a specific person 
But as someone who's kind of a specific person <laughs> anyway, um, by that I mean, Ken Miles seemed to be a peculiar human being. And so I felt like Christian Bale trying to play and, and emulate the caricature. I mean, see, this is where it falls apart in my mind. I mean, I'm not an actor, so I don't know. But he had to represent Ken Miles in a way that people would say, yeah, that, that was, he was representing Ken Miles. Anyway, it's a good film and it made me wonder, is it more difficult to play someone and play, their, play them historically accurate? Or like, you know when you go to a street fair and those people that do caricature portraits, you know, and like uh, they'll emphasize the features of your face and that creates some sort of an emotional attachment. It's like, yeah, that's me, um, you know is that kind of acting similar to that. Hey, good morning. <laughs> that was a lovely spot of sunshine, that big yellow umbrella. Yellow umbrella. And then I got to thinking about the movie Bombshell. Charlize Theron, Margot Robbie. <clears throat> They're playing folks that are very much still alive and very much still dealing with the repercussions of being women in male-dominated professions. I mean, that must be so intense. And I'm also stacking this up against like Scarlett Johansson's character in Jojo Rabbit. Man, you've got to go see Jojo Rabbit. It's just such a fun film. It is so good, so uplifting. Uh, we got some tractor traffic coming up. Oh, uh, we got them on both sides. I think they're cleaning up the goose poo. <laughs> it is so bad out here. This time of year especially, it seems. So today, rather than switch, shorts. I usually ride in shorts like above 35 degrees when it's raining so that I can switch them out. I just forget it. I had to do some errands yesterday on the bike and it was raining and snowing. I was like, ah, forget it. I'm just going to wear my jeans and they'll dry or they won't dry. Boy, I'm looking forward to pushing four this morning. Anyway, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Is it harder to play an historical figure or is it harder to play an imagined character? Scarlett Johansson really, really brought it in uh, Jojo Rabbit. And ultimately, I didn't get at this last week, but ultimately my question is, what, is the, what are the relationships among the character and the actor? Now that's kind of obvious, obviously. The character and the director and the director and the actor and the story and the actor and the story and the character, right? Because like in every story, every character is, le is the lead in their own movie. But we're only seeing the movie sliced one way for one character. If you could hit me up on Twitter, let me know what your thoughts are um, about acting. And, and primarily like if you're a filmmaker, if you're an actor, actress, um, let me know, what are your thoughts on playing historical roles versus, versus imagined characters? And uh, I'd love to start a conversation. I'd love to ride with someone, uh, maybe in the spring when it's a little bit nicer weather, but I'd love to ride with someone who has experience with this and uh, could talk, talk me through what are the relationships among story and character, um, actor and character, actor and story, character and story, director and story, Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. How do all of these roles end up uh, serving the story and making a good film? Hey folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Um, I'm enjoying the ride this morning with you out here in the rain. 
in Boise. Um, it's 37 degrees. It's nice and it's warm. I mean, I like that part. Uh, but hey, hope that you enjoy your ride today. Hope that you get a moment to be on uh, your ride, whatever it is. Uh, thanks so much for riding with me. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, see you next week.